monster ground effect vehicles. That's what today's Project Air episode is all about. Hello, welcome to Project Air this week. Um, I've been busy building a new project, which is why I've been gone for a few more weeks than I would have liked to. I've been building this thing, which is a ground effect vehicle. It's also called an Acranoplan, I think that's what it's called. And yes, it uses ground effect to fly, and this will be its very first test run. If you don't know about ground effects, ground effects uh, was discovered in about the 1920s, and it's essentially uh, the phenomenon, 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 it's the effect <laughs> of uh, riding a, a sort of cushion of air. Lots of people have built ground effect vehicles before, um, like uh, the Russians, for instance, um, and yeah, they've built some huge, absolutely ginormous creations, some behemoths of aviation, and I wanted to see if I could do the same kind of thing. This wing is the main lifting surface, however, this is also a lifting surface. This has actually got an airfoil to it, so the center of gravity is actually further back than you might expect. And also, we've got a very interesting power system on this aircraft. We've got an EDF on the back, which is a 70 millimeter EDF unit. And then we've also got these motors on the front, two motors uh, that are on a swivel. You may recognize this from uh, a video I did with Tom Stanton a while ago. Uh, I've recycled the technology, so thanks Tom. You actually made this bit, but it's actually a little bit damaged. This here took a bit of an impact. <laughs> and then when we go into the battery bay, so we've got two four cell batteries powering all of these motors. It's actually quite simple. I think what we're going to do is set up um, a few tests on the ground here before we put this aircraft on the water. So I'm going to start off with just a little bit of, uh, of up on the, uh, on the dial and then just sort of uh, power with that thrust angle. Promising. I think I've got a motor problem. Well, the first test seemed to work all right. All right, so I managed to fix the problems with the plane. Last night, um, I spent ages trying to fix it and I wanted to show you what I've done to, um, to mend the problems that I was having outside, so let's have a look right now. First of all, we have the new uh, mechanism. So I had to replace this, um, this strut because uh, the old one was broken. Uh, I'm getting a rare insight to the inside of my drawers. This was uh, the original aluminium spar, and unfortunately in that crash, <laughs> it broke, so yeah, I had to replace this. So now it's got this wooden spar. Um, this is just a piece of, uh, I think it's about one centimeter squared. I had to beef it up slightly with these little um, extra spacer things because it didn't fit into Tom's 3D printed uh, mount here. So I had to strip this all to pieces. But if you remember, the motor wasn't working as well. So that meant that I had to replace one of these. Um, and actually I ended up having to replace both of them because um, I didn't have the same motors. So these are the motors that came on the plane originally. One of them is burnt out, I found out, so it took me ages to diagnose the problem and then I had to replace both of them. They actually came from a viewer of mine who kindly sent them in, so thank you very much to this person here um, for sending these in. Right, so I think what I'm going to do now is go outside again and go and see if we can get this thing to actually take off. That was absolutely perfect. Oh my God, I'm gonna do it again. Definitely got enough power to do whatever I want, so.
not sure if you saw that, but it just went straight up in the air. So I think the centre of gravity is way too far back. So I'm going to change that. Okay, so I've just uh, changed the centre of gravity and now I'm going to just do a few more sort of runs up and down the garden. So what I'm doing at the moment is using the tilt servo as the rudder. So as I do this, then I can sort of, uh, whilst it's moving forward, I can sort of control the pitch angle. So I think what that indicates is I need to link it to this, like it was on the thrust vectoring delta plane. So yeah, uh, a few things to tweak, but yeah, do a few more tests and then see what happens. Pretty pleased with this. Um, as I said, I'm going to change the servo and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, lots of things to be working on. I think what we'll do, we'll come back here, try some modifications, see what happens then. My hands are dead. I was only out there for like 15 minutes and now I am absolutely frozen. This is what happens when you do projects in December. So this project is going quite well so far. I think um, I'm pleased with how the test went today and I think that uh, in the next video um, when we take it on the water I think that that's going to go uh, pretty well if I can get these CG issues um, sorted anyway. So what I'll do is I'll do some modifications and post some updates on my Instagram. You can follow me there, follow the progress of this in between videos. Yeah, we can we can see how, how the project pans out. So before I go though, um, I just wanted to let you know what is this? I I wrote a book. What? Many of you will know that I actually work for Flight Test. So yeah, we've been making this book. So the book is all about sort of learning to fly. So if you want to learn how to fly yourself, or if you have a friend and you want to teach them to fly, then this book is the perfect primer to get them involved. Um, if you want to pick one up, then it really supports me. I'd be really grateful. Um, Sports both me and Flight Test, so yeah, two birds, one stone. You can get it on the Flight Test store, you can get it on Amazon, on the European sites as well, so if you're in Germany or France or Poland or anywhere like that, you can get it on there. I'm excited to hear what you think. Uh, comment down below if you order one, and I'll thank you personally. <laughs> I've never done any sort of promotional stuff that actually helps me out uh, to make these videos or to even like, you know, just feed myself. Uh, so yeah, to, to, to buy this book and support me, I very much appreciate it. So thank you so much to you if you did and for just watching. So anyway, I've waffled on for way too long now. So remember to like this video, comment if you want, and I will catch you on the next one.